Okay, this is just a quick follow-up to the last video I did a couple of minutes ago. I just hooked the uh, amp meter up here to see what the kind of amp draw on this thing is. It's about 300 microamps. So I do have a microamp pulse motor um, being run on ambient solar energy. This is where the, the numbers lie, 0.7 volts at about 300 microamp draw with this kind of an input. Now, if I went to the... Uh, original here and used a volt and a half battery adjusting that one meg pot if you run the numbers on how long this would run going down to 0.7 volts which is about a jewel thief kind of a scenario with a 300 mic amp 300 microamp draw that darn thing would run for a long long time and really the reason for this video that's so stunning and I just did the other video was this is not a fine wire coil this is 34 gauge this isn't one of those 40 gauge hair fine coils that coil there is not fine wire this is 34 gauge it's 55 ohms and yet that's the kind of numbers I'm getting out of this using that kind of a blink rate with a feedback from the rotor going into that coil as that magnet goes by that coil, it induces a current backwards into that circuit. And I think that's why this is happening, is I'm shoving backwards. It's my theory anyway. I don't know why it would get numbers like that. And here again, this is uh, ambient sunlight uh, coming into my house in the afternoon. Um, it's late afternoon. I think it's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, anyway, I just want to do the follow-up on that. Is that's uh, that's into the microamps now, and I can run that on a double A for months. Thanks for watching.